What's happening now is very exciting to me and has a lot to do with why I do what I do in Journey Work Services for the New World, which is my private practice. Uh, in Journey Work, uh, I combine my ability to be a conscious channel and all the studies that I've done, not only theologically, but mystically, uh, uh, metaphysically, excuse me, mystically is actually the experience, um, uh, and uh, as a former therapist. Uh, and combine those together to um, see if we can't join the right and left brain uh, to bring that duality together, the reason and the intuition, um, uh, the individuation and part of the larger whole and learning how to consult that larger whole deliberately and consciously and to reclaim our deeper understanding which we, we already know on some level of how to tune into, how to be aware of our own inner urgings that attending to that longing that I spoke of earlier. So journey work actually uh, helps people to be able to rebalance uh, it is not the end-all and be-all. In other words, it, there are things that it doesn't do. It doesn't attend to, to physical components. There are people I refer to for that. It does attend to uh, such things as what kinds of patterns have been repeating in my life that are so unsatisfying now that I'd like to finally begin to heal and release the energy and reclaim it back towards something that suits me a little better. Um, how can I be in touch with my, my higher soul? How can I be in touch with my guidance? Who is my guidance? Uh, what did I come here for? What was I doing in another life and what does that have to do with now anyway? Uh, because uh, there is a continuum that goes on. There's a, there's a lot to learn. It's an infinite universe. We're not going to get it in a matter of 80 or 90 years. Uh, and that's okay. It, that's part of the fun. You know, the, uh, taking a trip, half the fun is getting there. Um, uh, so the journey work does attend to those sorts of things which directly address not only issues about meaning and, and quality and the essence of what is unique about you, but also helps to provide some skill base about how can I remain balanced? How can I stay open to my higher guidance? How can I begin to practice being able to tell the difference between my um, uh, limited uh, programmed ego and uh, the larger voice which uh, is able to adjust and expand that ego to accommodate larger and larger and larger parts of, of who I am and what I can embrace and what I'm a part of. Um, we do that in, in either in one-on-one -on -one sessions or we do that in group. And uh, the group is a great place to find support, reality checks, <clears throat> feedback. Uh, it's a marvelous thing and I'm so happy that my students actually um, uh, really love to support and uh, uh, each other and who they really are. That's the essence, bottom line, I think, of what Journey Work does is it works with you to, to discover and implement more about who you really are, who your nature is, and what are you up to this lifetime and what would you like to be up to? Uh, so it is your ally and it is your earth plane guide uh, and uh, the work of journey work is to not program you about what you should be doing instead of this other thing you were doing but to expand your horizons and give you some new options and to celebrate your not only your right but your ability to be able to have everything that you need in place to go the direction that you need and want to go uh, so it celebrates who you are and I love doing it. <laughs>